Hello, hello, hello. Happy Juneteenth, everyone here in the USA. Um, wasn't really sure what it was. I probably should have known, but I did find out. And it's scrolling across at the bottom exactly how it got started and what it's about. Once I found out what it's about, I'm definitely glad that I uh, posted it here. It's a big deal. Big, big deal. Anyway. Thank you, everybody, for being here. 19th of June. Unbelievable. As you know, I haven't been doing lives at noon because of my knee. By the time I hobble into the bedroom at 12 o'clock and I'm in there and get comfortable and finally get where I can make it so I can tolerate it, I fall asleep. And then when I get up, it's late. And... Uh, takes a while for me to come out here, so I've just been changing the time that I do it. Anyway, what I think it is, after talking to the Mad Hatter, it's probably gout, because I ate too much red meat. Now, I normally don't get it. I've only had it about three times in my life, and uh, I know what to do. I, I haven't been drinking enough water. Know that. Not good. you got to keep flushing out your system. And I was taking this. This is for anybody that gets gout. This was recommended to me by the Mad Hatter. Tart cherry. Big deal because cherry juice knocks down the acid, uric acid that builds up to make gout. So anyway, but I didn't take it last week because well, I'm an idiot. Anyway, I wound up getting gout. So Anyway, I, I found a way it gets pretty comfortable. It's uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go away. It just takes time. It's really slow process. And this time I got it in my knee. So it's not fun. I know, I know with this petite body, you would think I should still be able to go around on one leg, but not so much. Anyway, keep praying about it. I really appreciate it because this could last. I'm even finding ways to fall asleep. So that's a big, big deal. And that's through the grace of God that, because, you know, look, hey, we all go through bad things. It's just part of life. Part of life. How how we handle it is one, a different story. But we all go through stuff. Anyway, on to a more and brighter note. Um, I know there's some people, you know, calling and saying, hey, what's that rumble, man? Are we have an earthquake? No, no, no. That's unpassable. It's about to erupt. Okay? Guaranteed. Um, hold on. I gotta make sure I uh, decide. Hair's getting kind of long, starting to look like a hippie. My sister's gonna come cut it. Feeling good. Other than that, I uh, been intermittent fasting. Um, drink a lot of water. Feel good. I don't have any uh, cravings. As soon as I knock out the sugar and the carbs, the cravings run away. None. You don't if you don't have the sugar and the and the, and the carbs, you can go hours and hours and hours without eating. It. And, and I'm not like, oh, I'm starving. No, not at all. Not at all. I had two turkey burgers, no bread, in the last 36 hours. I feel good, except for my knee. And that was my fault. Too much red beef, red meat. And I didn't trick enough. Anyway, back to um, passive. Ah, man, I am blown away. I uh, I do a live. It gets me geared up. I get off the live. I talk to people. I'm, I'm listening to what's going on. I'm, I'm starting to really research stuff about AI, about the world, about how the world's changing. And I'm thinking we couldn't be in a better place at a better time with a better captain of this monstrosity, with a better team, with a better group of founders, it's, this is not an accident. It is not an accident. Really, I mean, if you believe that, you, you got to know this is not an accident. These kind of things don't just fall into place, right? It's a good thing, a great thing. It's going to change people. 
It's going to help people. It's going to bless people. And let me tell you something. Most of you know this. Giving is so much more fun than receiving. Maybe when you're 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, whatever. That's different. But when you get old enough to know, giving is so cool. And I really believe that it's the best natural, one of the best natural medicines you can take. I believe it cures, giving can cure things that, I, you know, things that people go through every day. You ever get to the point, and, and the beauty of Unpassive is, I believe I'm going to be able to give every day. Every day. And to be able to take the money side out of it. You know, because money is money's the root to evil, but here's how I see it is. Divorce is over it, getting in debt over it, chasing the Joneses over it. That that's the evil part of it. But if you can get the money, get get rid of all that crap, all that nonsense, get rid of the bills, you know, live right, do what you can, fill up your pockets. Take care of yourself, obviously, and then turn around and bless others. And I thought about that. I remember Chris is uh, the poster child of both blessed. But I, I think as I listen and I watch and ask God, said a few things while we were, while I was in Chris's listening to the, about a blessed, it's not charity. It's not charity. There's nothing about unpassive that is a band-aid. It's not a splint. It's not um, a neck brace. It's not uh, crutches. It's fixes. Absolute fixes and move on. This gentleman, or whatever reason, this is his situation. You find a way to unpassive to take his situation and make it so that he could be productive and feel good about himself or herself. That's unpassive. That's oblast. Now, here, there's different parts of oblast. Tragedy, earthquake, floods, all that. You saw how before unpassive was even born, we had disasters in the world, horrible ones. And who was there on passive with O Bluffs? Giving, filling the trucks of stuff that people need. That's different. That's O Bluffs too. But the real core of O Bluffs, and, and I hope this is my opinion. I don't speak for the company, okay? The real core of O Bluffs is taking, even if you do, like we, uh, Chris has talked before. And Ash, I'm listening, if you can fix people living in the street in Michigan, you could scale that and do it anywhere in the world. And you don't want to do it so that you, you do it in Michigan. You go to Camden, New Jersey and work on it. or And this can all be going on at the same time. Why? Because we're going to have millions of people doing this, right? The point is, when you leave, you don't want it to go back to that. That's why we don't want to do Band-Aids. If you do the Band-Aid thing, you have to stay, and you're just you're working on the um, after effect, right? I mean, working on some uh, diabetes or working on that. Think about it. Not in all cases, but some cases. Diabetes because we ate wrong. The cure is, the real cure is, not medicine and all that, change the way you eat. This goes for me too. I'm not putting anybody down. But we, we don't want to be a, we don't want to be a Band-Aid or a, a disguise of fixing something because you never leave. It will never be better. It's only temporary. So I love the idea of, of, of blast and getting things done.
to where that poor guy in the street who fought for our country or fought for your country or fought forever in the military comes home. He did what he did as a young man, young woman, saw things that most people don't see, and to come home and can't survive. He's depressed. They might have shell shock. They might have PS, whatever, where they're, where they're just, they come back to real world and it's, it's, they're shocked. They just can't cope. They need help. They should have the help. And they're very, look at some of these people in the military. They ran and operated things that most people can't do. But people here military, they're in the war. They're only good for being warriors. That's not true. That's not the way it is. We we're gonna. We're, I believe I'm positive. We'll set up. We'll set up small bubble around that to fix that problem, and then you scale it. Because it goes like this: if you can, if you can make a hundred bucks, you can make a thousand. You can make ten thousand. Make a hundred thousand. You scale it, right? There's what you just keep. If, if something works, you you advance it. And and the beauty of this is, the beauty of helping mankind or helping your brothers and sisters in the world, no matter what they look like, tall, fat, ugly, skinny, whatever religion, you go out to help these people, and very high percentage of them who were helped. And got their feet on the ground, and they're and they're productive. Part of their life, in most cases, is what doing what was done for them. So the payoff, the return on investment, is monumental. Seriously. There's, if you go, we go in and help these people, like the, when Chris helped this guy, William, in that school and all those kids. And, and you know, and a lot of people don't want to come help me, come help. Okay, look, it's only Chris. Okay, he's not, he's not a conglomerate. The guy went out above board to do this. The beauty of it is he leveraged what he did by helping. He didn't just help Chris. I mean, William, William was okay. He helped William with three or 400 kids. And the beauty of that is all of the seeds that were planted in those beautiful little boys and girls, they'll never forget. And somewhere in their life, part of their life, the percentage of their life, whatever it might be, will be doing the same thing that happened to them. That's how you change the world. Because if you could change one person's world, and I mean change it, not band-aid it, there's a percentage of that person. It more than likely, more than more than we could imagine, they're gonna do the same. Now you spread that like wildfire. See, the problem with band-aids, it doesn't spread, it becomes survival. Marty gave me this. I need more. Marty, give me this. I need more. Marty, give... no, no, no. Help them so they can give. Same, same story. Fill your pockets, do the right thing. And they'll automatically, I, I believe this because maybe I'm maybe I'm naive, but I believe this with all my heart. A high majority of those people that you help, and they know where it came from, and they know. That this crazy guy in Michigan to a company called um, Passive. It wasn't from Oblast. I don't want people to think that, but it was because of that. The gentleman that's there, William, is a founder. He already has giving in his heart, he gives everything he has. But what happens to him when he starts creating revenue? You don't think he's going to give? He does it now. Of course he is. That's amazing. To me, that is simply amazing. And that's what I'm looking forward to. I know I'm not the poster child, but I'm looking at all aspects of um, passive. 
and I want to what I I want to give my my opinion. That's all. I just want to give my opinion of how I see it, and give give other people a different way to look at it. And I know most of you think the same way I do. But everything about unpassive is the same thing. All of it is change, not not temporary change. Change. You change someone's life. And like I said, more than likely, they're going to want to change somebody else's life. That's that's powerful. That's absolutely beautiful. That's the part I love about it. Sorry, I did notify people I was coming on here earlier, but I, I just couldn't. Hopefully tomorrow or the next day at least, I'll be back to normal. We'll be having them at noon. And everybody will know. And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so. Anyway, uh, let me try to get this moved up all the way. Okay, this is live. Mm. Uh, it's funny because I don't see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I didn't see the live chat. Okay, I got it. Good chair. Live chat. I, I didn't see it. For some reason, it was hidden. Um, the whole top of the page. I didn't have it all the way scrolled down. Uh, but that, oh, also, I, I, I said something about this yesterday and maybe the day before. Take that contest and share it with friends and family or people you know. They have a chance to win cash or prize or coins in the OES. What do they have to do? It's simple. Sign up for O-Mail, which they're going to do anyway, eventually, because you're going to tell them that's where I'm going. You tell them why you're going. And if they do that, they can enter this contest. So that would be beautiful. Chris is calling, of course. Probably they'll tell me they can't hear or something. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a live right now. You know that, right? Oh, okay. All right. All right, bye. Freaking Chris. You know what he called for? He said, Narelle's upset because I put her to sleep at noon and I'm not there, so she can't fall asleep at night. Really funny. Jackass. Did I say jackass? Mule. Anyway. Sorry, Narelle. Anyway, she's asleep now. She'll see this later. Um, anyway, so that's what we're going to do. That's what I think we should do. Help people and get things going. Once again, I'm going to say this again. I'll probably, I'll probably repost it. I did a video explaining three problems. Okay. One was you go to log into OES and it says wrong credentials. You get a new password. It still says it. Use the OTP, you go in, no problem. The One of the big problems with that is you're using a no mail that you don't really have. Okay, I explained what to do. That's one. Second one is OTP, I mean, O mail, they go in, they log in, no problem, everything's fine. As soon as they click on O mail, it either loops, which is the circle going around the center and never goes away, or it reverts them back to the login page or back to the, somewhere else, but it doesn't take them to O-Mail. That's on that video, what to do. Okay? And the other issue is they're having a problem and they click to get their OTP and they never receive their OTP. Those are the three things 
And I say on that video exactly what to do. Send an email here, here, and if you do, it will tell you in detail exactly what to do. And I made it very simple. Now, there was a few people that decided not to pay attention and do something goofy. And this is very simple. Put your email column A. They did something else, so I deleted them. Their email may not get fixed. I made it very, very simple. So anyway, go there. If you're having any one of those issues, and it's not a lot of people, I know that for a fact. I see the list. It's small. It's just something a little easy for the company to fix. We just got to give them the list of who's having the problem. Uh, other than that, everything is booming. As you know, we're going to get a, the newer version of OConnect. Uh, what's coming, we're going to be able to purchase that new version, and we're off to the races. And I want to tell you my personal opinion. I love telling my personal opinion. I can't get in trouble for that. I never, ever want to say the company said this, unless Mr. Mufaro says, Marty, say that, then I will. Otherwise, I don't do it. None of us do. Nobody, I know Chris doesn't. I know Red won't. I know Julie and Robin. I mean, there's a handful of uh, Michael Williams, Charles Osong, the OTEC pros, Rob, Rob Lynn, both of them. They won't. But I'm just saying, you could say your opinion, but say it's your opinion. This is my opinion. On past, it will be something that the world has never, ever, ever seen for the good. Never. Never. I, I want you to take Mother Teresa, Martin Luther King, and everybody, all these people, uh, Mandela, whatever, all of them, all of them that tried to do good and be good for people, mold them all in one, and you have something on passive 10x, 100x, 1,000x. No joke. That's what we're in. Marilyn Stoneberger, thank you for the super sticker. Marilyn, thank you. Ernest Martinez, thank you, sir. Hey, I see your picture. You got to go teach us like me. In fact, better than mine, by the way. You don't have as much gray. But yeah. That makes me feel good. Anyway, thank you very much. But seriously, let's um, let's get ready. Are you ready? I want to say a shout out to my brothers and sisters from the bottom of my heart, because I see that Runa is here. I absolutely love Papua New Guinea. We're going to be doing webinars with Papua New Guinea. I want everybody that can be there. And you remember through AI, as we get moving and we can get where some of my brothers and sisters in Jayling, thank you. And I know you're a woman. <laughs> thank you very much. But anyway, thank you, Mr. Super Sticker. Anyway, I want to do webinar with Papua New Guinea. I want to get us all back together. A long time went by. Went by. Uh, I moved on and started helping other people, and I didn't stay in touch as well as I should have. But I'm back. I want everybody that maybe went off the track a little bit or got guided somewhere. It, listen, I'm going to say this again. Everybody's quick. Oh, he did this. She did this. Look, I don't walk in your shoes, but I know Papua New Guinea long enough that the lives you have is a thousand times harder than anything I've ever had with gout, everything. I never had the hard life like you people have. That's why for me, I'm going to say this in front of everybody in the world. For me, I want I want you to stay straight. I want you to wait for this thing. It's going to happen. Try to put your money together. Ask is given the 97 back. Let's get together. I want you all to reap the rewards of Unpassive. I really do. You were Listen, Papua New Guinea is an inspiration for everybody in the world. As people came to Papua New Guinea and watched the webinars, people left with tears in their eyes. 
some of the great, great speakers, great leaders, and some of the sharpest people I've ever met. No, I'm not kidding. You hear some of these guys come on and they're in a hut and they're talking. I go, man, what a sharp guy. What a sharp woman. So even in the circumstance that's hard and not easy, you guys shine like a diamond. And you guys are diamonds in the rough, all women and the men and everybody. So I want desperately, we're going to get together. I want you guys stay encouraged. We all love you without a doubt. And anybody, anywhere, if you're in India, you're in Bangladesh, you're whatever, we are all one family. And don't worry. Look, I know some people say, well, the person who brought me in doesn't care. Move past him or her. It's too late to worry about that. You find someone that you think you can that can help you. But I'm past it's going to help us all very, very soon. All I'm asking is hold on tight. Bear with it. The problems are temporary. We, let's stick with what we know is the best thing that could happen for us. I'm not just saying that. I have experience in many, many businesses, offline, online, and I've been... I've been fried. I mean fried. Lost tens of thousands of dollars. Working as hard as I could. Believing that people... I was naive to believe that everybody loved everybody. And I was wrong. And then what happens to me? Because I stuck with it. Even the bad times, I landed in unpassive. The door opened and God said, go in there. This is what you're looking for. So that's why I'm so excited about Unpassive. And all of you that got that bug, you walked through that door and you started to feel what this is really about, where you get to be you. And you're going to soar. You're going to shine. That's what Unpassive is about. That's why I love it. But I've been fried. I'm telling you, bad. There's nights I got off. I lost money. I'm laying in bed going, what am I doing? This isn't helping my family. This is hurting us. I don't have disabilities, just living paycheck to not even living, barely surviving. But I never gave up hope that there's got to be someone, somewhere, something that will create something. And that's, that's pretty naive anyway. Because most people are, what can I get? And blah, 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 blah. And a lot of people out there have that mentality. And because the system was built that way, you almost have to have it to make it. They can tell you make it and all that. So when I see something like this and I see people that kind of veer off the road, I'm not trying to live in your shoes. I want to change your shoes. I want to change your situation. I want to make sure that you have a smile on your face more than you have a sad look. And the only way, it's not me, it's on passive. So if you veer off, yeah, I'm going to get on you and say, get back, get back on the yellow brick road because this is where we belong. And other people want to go and they don't want to come back. Okay, you can't stop them. So I wish they didn't. Yeah, no matter who it is. All of the, even the ones that bad mouthed me and called me names and, Whatever, I I have no hard feelings. I want to move on. I really do. I just There's no time for, oh, he said, she said that. What a waste of freaking breath. For one thing, it doesn't change anything. But if you're on our team, Mike, Dan, and Marty, and, and we spent time and got to really know all of you around the world, you think you're going to veer off of me not saying something? You're not going to like it. You're not going to like it. Until the day you get and say, I quit, I'm leaving, and cancel, and you want to, okay, that's different. But I want you to stay straight because we, we, you need to pay attention now. Now you need to pay attention. There's no time for looking left and right. Asset thinks you're going to be moving along. My job is to cheerlead and, and, and decipher what Einstein is saying to all of us. And I try to do the best I can. There's a couple of times I get a text going, what? <laughs> no, but anyway, not too much. I, I'm usually right in the, the 
the boundaries of delivering the message in a different way. Red does it another way. Chris does it another way. It's just who we are. But I want everybody to stand up. Let's go. We held hands. We, we met each other years now, over four years. Some of you going on five. There's no time for this crap. Let's move on, and we're going to have a blast, an absolute blast. Um, like I said, I'll try to be on at noon tomorrow if my knee's still blown up. It probably won't be. It'll probably be some wacky time in the afternoon. But there's nothing I can do about it right now. Kevin Mountain Man Rutledge, thank you for the super sticker, sir. I appreciate it. The one and only Janet Butler. Janet, you don't have to do that. Thank you, Janet. Was a, there was another woman that could do anything. You know what? I'm a very. I'm going to give you a story. When I'm doing troubleshooting, I've done troubleshooting with a lot of people. I mean, you could talk to Dan and Mike. I could be a pain in the butt. I build up a system to find out what the problem is. What I'm really trying to do it's proof it's not man-made problem it's back to the tech problem not because i'm trying to put the tech down but if i can prove we did this 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 and this i know it's not human error right so you build up that system and we got doing that it took me a while to figure out the best way to do it janet joined me and chris and within four or five days i could leave no joke Janet got it. She knew the mechanics. I said to her, I think one time we were talking, I said, I just try to prove what it's not. Because the last thing left is the answer. So if you got a problem, <laughs> you got a problem because he did it. No, I'm not saying that. You're, you're swamper. We spent weeks, I believe, every night helping people. We helped hundreds and hundreds. And most of the time, it was human error, something small. But it's not saying you're dumb. It has nothing to do with being dumb. It's overlooking something. You're, you're excited about doing it, and some little thing happens. But like I, the reason I said it, Janet, boom. Even if she's from the behind, like if, if Daryl calls me, and Daryl's the leader of that whole group. Or they got this and this and this. First thing I say to him, do you see Janet? If she can't fix it, you don't have to come to me. I'll just send it to support. I'm not kidding. That's a beautiful thing. And there's a there's a lot of people like that. I know there's I know Roblin Live. I know Julie was doing it. There's like there's a there's people that are helping. I'm just giving the experience because I saw uh Janet's hand up and she sent me that super sticker. Thank you very much. Justin Evans, thank you so much for the super sticker. Anyway, I just want to say we have a lot of diamonds in the rough. And I told you from the beginning, back in 2015, and I'll forget this, 10 years ago, when I met Mike, and then right after, pretty shortly after I met Dan, we all had to figure out who's going to do what. I'm not writing. Okay? Dan's a writer. I'm broke. Dan's the bank. Mike, video guy, worked out perfect. I could do lies because it's not scripted. I I don't have a time frame. When I'm done, I'm done. Mike wants to keep it because it's important to keep videos down to a certain no amount of time if it's the first time you're, you're saying something to somebody. You can add the time the longer you know them, but people shut you off if they don't know you. I mean, who is he? Now, Mike could do a 15, 20-minute video and people watch it. He gets more views. He gets as many views as anybody, more than most, because of the reputation of saying the facts. Anyway, but anybody could do that. But it's the team thing. And I, I always, when we started, I would always, A, try to find the guy that's running it. B, see how he ticks or she ticks. And C, Either we all talk and find out we're getting out of this. It's not what they said. They lied. And that's how it went every time for years and years and years. But the trust that we build up is un it's not natural. I never met Dan and Mike in my life in person. Within weeks, I believe, Dan handed me his credit card. 
to pay for ads. I don't have the money. Yeah, no, no joke. The trust is unbelievable. And that's a big deal if you can work with someone you trust. It's a big, big deal. I trust a lot of people here. Trust. Chris Johnson, 100%. The freaking guy gives away stuff. He, he had this stupid thing about, well, I'm giving William X amount of dollar, but I got, I got to round it up. Okay. And he did it almost every time. Marty, what are they kicking? What are they kicking? I'm telling you what the frick they're kicking. It looks like a ball of paper. Oh, they should have soccer balls. So what's he doing? He buys $500 worth of soccer balls. Some for the girls and some for the boys. They already thought, oh, they're going to fight over if I don't. That's Chris Johnson. And yes, I know you guys see us in webinars, and I am picking on them and making fun of them and calling them names. And I love every bit of it. Okay, <laughs> I love every bit of it, but it's only be, it's all in fun. I never want to beat him down. Like I wouldn't do that. In fact, somebody talked about Chris. I'm, they're they're not going to get a good thing from me. He knows I'm kidding. But he's a good guy, big heart. I love big-hearted people, and I'm meeting all of you, like Bruna, like Dan Streets here, M. Kylie, the one and only Willow. Willow's always trying to help people. Look at all the names here. It's not a joke. We all know who you are. Everybody here does the same thing. I just want you to maximize who you are. And I, I, want, I got bad news for you. Outside of on positive, it probably never would have happened, happened in your life. On passive, you can be Eric Kessler 100%. Whatever you want to do. To the max. And you're going to see it happen. You're going to see those things happen as it as it evolves and opens up, that flower opens up and you came in and said, wait a minute, I never thought of this. I can do this. That's right. Get that in your head right now. All of you, all of you. Anyway, <laughs> I babbled long enough. I'm going to, um, first thing I'm going to do because I learned how is I'm going to go back and say thank you for all the super stickers. Marilyn Stoneberger, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Ernest Martinez, thank you, thank you, thank you. Jaylene, the beautiful woman. See, Chris Johnson. He's a man. No, you're, you're a woman, Chris. Okay, anyway, uh, Mountain Man Rutledge, my buddy. Thank you, Jaylene. What too funny, more? I knew you were going to get... She sent me another one for that. Thank you, Kaylin. Uh, the one and only Janet Butler. She's unbelievable. Justin Evans. Thank you, Justin. Anyway, guys, I don't have time to yell everybody's name out because uh, there's stuff going on here, as you can imagine. But I want to thank you all, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to try for 12, but if I'm not there, don't panic. It's only because Marty's right leg decided, no, you're not getting up yet. But pray that it goes away quicker because I got things I want to do. Anyway, I'll see you all and God bless.